The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We'll take a look at the FTSE first and then the German DAX. I posted those into the room so that you'll be able to see them. They both made some type of a top the other day, but uh, they've backed off just a little bit. Not much to really go to the bank with, but you can see the German DAX did make a little Gartley here yesterday at an ABCD point and has rallied back uh, a little bit also. We've also rallied back to the 78% levels on the indices. The Dow's actually went a tiny bit higher than that, but the NASDAQ made the 786, and so did the uh, E-mini. Whether it goes high or not, no one knows for sure, but I still think that we're over a major cycle, and it might take a day or two for it to kick in, and it might not kick in at all. We don't know for sure, but we never know for sure. Now, something big happened last night, folks, that we've been watching, and if you pay any attention to what goes on in the TFNN den, we talked about this yesterday and the fact that we had a price target of corn to come in at 525 that was the 61 percent retracement mr z posted that little puppy and you'll see we went from 525 we're up to 535 already today so if you happen to be in that trade put your stop at break even because you don't know where it's going to go from here this is still a bull market remember we were at 574 we dropped 50 cents folks that's a 2500 dollars in coin and that's you know that wiped out a whole month's work and so there's still a bull market. I mean, you know, you're, you're just having another pullback. Look what happened between the, the 14th of January and the 24th of January. We had another big drop of 50 cents. And what did it do? Went up and made a new high at 575. So this is still a bull market. And so keep in mind that uh, you got to prepare yourself for these. And whether they uh, work or not, who knows? But uh, those are the kind of things that you want to be watching. And Mr. Z was uh, certainly watching those as we, uh, as we remember from yesterday. Okay, now there's another one that's very, very interesting here, and that's the silver market, folks. I wanted to bring this to your attention here because we've been talking about this uh, through our videos that we send out just about every day in the silver, gold, and platinum. And we were commenting here that we were making a 61% Gartley retracement here yesterday at the 2670 level. And that was the exact low. Uh, 2670 was the low. And then uh, we rallied uh, quite a bit. We we're up about oh, 60 cents from that level. So if you happen to have been in that type of trade, you know, now you're, you're having a place where you're, you're still in a long term downtrend, but you're also in an uptrend because you can see here we had a lower. Uh, a lower, a higher low than we did in February, and then also we had a much, much higher high. You know, going back on February the 11th when we had that uh, thing with the Robin Hood guys. Anyway, that's what it looks like in silver. The gold, I still believe we're going to go lower in gold, folks. Uh, it just is. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, it just by looking at the chart and looking at the GDX, I spent some time looking at that, and it's, they just look like they're they want to reach down and make. Uh, $30 in the GDX, which is trading at 35 right now. So it would be down another 15% from where we are right now. And I think that's a possibility. That would get gold under the sixteen under the $1,700 one more time. And then I'd say, uh oh, everybody's, you know, turned around and they're bearish gold now. And uh, that would be the very, very big ABCD on the long-term weekly that we pointed out several times. And we haven't had that happen since... Uh, well, it's been well. It hasn't happened. Not a big ABCD uh, since December the 16th of uh, December 30th of uh, 2016. So this is still a bull market in the gold, and I think it's going to go. Hey, look, folks. If if you can get uh, a Bitcoin to what 49,000 today. Uh, what, what are you going to do? You think? <laughs> who knows what's going to happen? Uh, Bob is asking, where do I see D, uh, D's corn going? Bob, you know that's a that was a perfect A B C D there that we talked about. It was right at the 61% retracement. It's up 10 cents. 
uh, from the buy point and whether this is a this is going to be the real key bob because if we go down below that level now if we drop below the 420 uh excuse me the uh I'm trying to think of the handles on the 725 what is it what's the handle see so yeah, at 725 in the corner holy cow I forgot about that um that that would that would be something that i would be uh I, I would be concerned if it did that, but right now you, you don't know. I would think the minimum the minimum would be a three eight two retracement, Bob. So if you drop fifty percent, a three eight two retracement of that is going to be what? Oh, that would be about uh, nineteen cents. So we should go at least nineteen cents higher. Well, we've already rallied ten cents, so another nine cents will tell you whether it's going to you know continue to go. But now. Since we don't know where it's going, the only thing we can do is we can quantify what our risk is going to be. You know, that's the whole key to try to to try to focus on how much you risk, not how much you make. That's the that's you know I, you keep dri driving that into you, but sometimes it takes harder for some people to understand that than others. Most people think about how much money you're going to make. That's why when you see these Robin Hood guys and stuff like that, and they're out there killing them and knocking them dead, and God bless them. But, uh, you know, when the, when the patterns turn, we saw this in, uh, you know, GameStop and a whole bunch of others, you know, you got to be able to say, uh-oh, you know, there's a problem here, and you got to be able to uh, react. But this thing could just be getting started, folks. It really could. It's, uh, you just don't know where these things are going to end up. So it will be will be exciting. We live in interesting times, if nothing else. That's the main thing that we want to be watching here. Okay, now I'd like to tend just a tiny bit here on the platinum. I want to get this up here and show you whenever prices go way above where I think they're going to go. And my price objective on platinum has been uh, twelve twenty five for a very very long time and uh, you'll notice here that the, this is the long-term uh, weekly pattern going from January we dropped from uh, 850 we dropped in half 850 to 550 and in 550 we've, we've been up to uh, 1272 that was the high last night and now we backed off a little bit today 30 or 40 dollars not very much but it looks like we're heading up to 1313 folks that's the platinum on the long term weekly that'd be a weekly expansion from the january high of 2000 and then the low down into march and then up where we are right now that's a that's a huge move the key here folks from a from a historical perspective and also for learning and i can't drive this home enough look at what happened in september this is a weekly chart, folks, and we make a weekly ABCD pattern at the 382. Look how many weeks it stayed there, folks. It stayed there nine weeks before it finally took off. And then it backed off one more time to the 61% retracement at 945 and then off to the races. And so that's where you've got to be watching. Now, it takes a lot of patience to set with that thing for eight weeks, frankly, I would have lost patience. I would have put my stop at break even. I, whether I would have gone on the breakout or not, I don't know. But when it goes to a 382 like that and stays there for so long, that is really, really, really big support. And uh, that's one of the reasons why we were so bullish on the platinum. Now, totally different pattern than the gold. You know, the gold is just totally different. We're going to pay a few bills. We'll be right back. We've got Storm and Norman Nick Winsky coming at the break. Astros Trends. Larry Pezzavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. 
you'll also gain instant access to Larry's archive subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the gold, 30-minute chart, uh, going back over the last uh, six or eight days. And you can see here that we have a perfect head and shoulders pattern. It is uh, as, as perfect as it can possibly be. You notice the left shoulder and the right shoulder are almost perfectly equal at uh, 1850. Uh, the high was made. The distance between the left shoulder and the right shoulder are all equal. Uh, we've started down. If you're in that particular trade, you know, your stop is at 18. 50 or, or break even you could put it at 1848 if you wanted to just to protect yourself but uh, that looks like it in fact it is it's a definition of a perfect head and shoulders pattern those formulas were put in, in print by uh, andrew lowe in his book the non-random walk down wall street tremendous amount of mathematics and physical things and calculus and stuff that's so far above my pay grade uh it, i gave the book to howard and john errington and ensign to help decipher and even they said it was beyond belief the mathematics that went behind the study of these patterns and the fact that they you know they do work and the second fact is that they repeat over and over again with regularity and uh, the problem is that they're not 100 percent perfect because we do have failures because something else is larger out there that we really that we really don't understand and that's not hard to understand because these markets are difficult uh, like mark douglas said trading is simple but it's not easy speaking of a b c d patterns here is a uh picture of apple i just wanted to show you some of the patterns that that are here that you can see all of the different types of abcd patterns that are involved in the apple that's the largest held stock in the world and uh you know it, it trades just like a, you know just like a clock almost you know we we sometimes take advantage of that but other times you know it uh, the clock doesn't work as well as we want and that's where the risk control mechanism comes in and you have to be able to uh, understand you know uh, what you're risking when you're following these things now we talked a little bit about the valid trend line and if you remember yesterday we were talking about the natural gas and as you can see here we had the 61 percent retracement come in sunday night uh, uh, excuse me monday night uh, at the exact 61 percent retracement of the february low 
and uh, the early February low. Actually, it was January 31st. I'm correction on that. And now we're trading back near the old highs. We're at 1303. Remember the long term daily on this, folks. The long term daily on this for the uh, natural gas, I believe, let's see if we can get this up here to show you folks, is right around 13, excuse me, 307. Let's get this up here and you'll be able to see because at that point you're going to hit a very very strong resistance because you're going to have a perfect Gartley pattern if you look at the time and price on this like Twentyman says do the work yourself and op open up the chart count the bars between A and B and C and D and see how symmetrical they are and then also see what the ratio is on the upside and that'll give you a price right at 307. So we can go through 307 like it doesn't even exist, but that also might stop it. But at 307, that's where your game plan comes in. If you're willing to buy a Gartley on the downside, you got to sell a Gartley on the upside. That's uh, that's it because you don't know which ones are going to work. They work about 60% of the time, but the other the other 40% of the time, you're either going to break even or you're going to. Uh, you know you're going to lose that's uh that's really what you're trying to look at so pay attention to that it's uh it's extremely important okay now we also want to take a quick look here at one other commodity that's uh, sort of in the news let me get this up here and that is this so oh, where is this long term chart that i wanted to show here this is the crude oil getting it up here i want to show you because this is the monthly crude and uh i don't know what a reverse head and shoulder uh pattern is bill you know you have to explain that one to me i think i've seen it but i don't remember what it looks like well it must be must be an upside down head and shoulders okay here is the monthly chart of gold uh, silk crude oil you see we have a 135 pattern here on the monthly folks that comes in between 5850 and 5950 we're right in that zone so keep an eye on a spot where you might want to get short the crude oil because it's completed those patterns we're in a long-term downtrend since 2009 you can see it's nearly perfect we topped at the 110 back in 2013 we dropped topped at 79 here uh last september and we we're heading down and we do have lower tops in here so we could easily make a top in here um for a pretty good correction, I could think we could pull back all the way to, you know, to uh, below forty dollars a barrel. So that's uh, that's what you're looking at. Okay, I, I agree with I, I understand the upside down head and shoulders pattern, but uh, it's so rare. I, I just don't uh, I don't follow it as much as I should. I I suppose, but that's just my again my two cents worth. Folks, if you have any questions, it's eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I think that uh, we'll be happy to answer them for you if we can't. And if we don't have the answer, I'll try to find it for you. So that's pretty much it. And one of the people here has asked a question, has the bottom been made in corn? I don't know. All I know is that that's a 61% retracement. It's 50 cents down from the uh, the high that it made. It, it's, it stopped exactly where it should have to be in an uptrend. And it's moved, uh, you know, 10 cents in, in the favor of where it should be. So you, you don't know. So what you have to do is you decide, do I take a profit here at 10 cents or do I, you know, keep my stop at break even? Now, I, I would do what Mr. Z does, I'd keep my stop at break even and, and go for it because, you know, if if corn can go 50 cents down, it can go 50 cents up. You know, that's not hard. It did it in two days. So, you know, these markets are getting very active, folks. We're we're going to see volatility here. This year is a year. They call it the year of ox in Chinese. But by the way, today is the first day of the Chinese New Year. Gong Hei Fa Choi with the new moon. Uh, China has closed the whole week. And, uh, they uh, will become out guns ablazing, I guess, uh, next week. But right now, uh, everything is closed over there. But it's the year of the ox, and the ox is slow and moving. And I don't think that's the way it's going to be. <laughs> Last year was the year of the rat. And uh, so we'll see what the year of ox is going to be this year. Holy moly, guacamole. Let's see see what we got. <laughs> David, David White just made a very funny joke. Hold on here one sec. Let's go back to the old uh, Bitcoin again because we are smoking and joking again. Uh, I believe we are. I want to get this up here to show you where we are. 
on the uh, long-term uh, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. Uh, we just uh, busted through the uh, 48,000 level, and the next stop here is 64,000, folks. Uh, that would be the next stop uh, on this, so we'll see if that's going to be uh, uh, doable or not. But it's, it's getting a lot of people involved in it and stuff, whether it's all... Um, you know, whether it's all fake or not, you know, who knows. But, you know, we're going to learn from it no matter what. So that's pretty much it. Um, those of you that were in the den, in, in the trading room back in um, uh, September of last year, when we had the uh, first trading, uh, day trading thing that I did, I, uh, I recommended, you know, the uh, ADA Cardano at six cents. And now it's almost a dollar, folks. So uh, I would book some here. That's not a bad run. Okay, we'll be right back, folks, with Norm Winsky. Hi, folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once-in-a-generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar, silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Hello. Norm, are you there? Broadsword. Hey, the chicken is in the pot. The eagle has landed. Norman is in the house. Go ahead, my friend. You're right, on the clock. We were having a little uh, problem there, huh? Twitter problem, Facebook problem, whatever social media problem there is. You're on the clock, my son. Go right ahead. All right. Hopefully, I have my notes on the screen. They are. And we're ready so, to go. Uh, I've been on your show twice now in the last couple of weeks, Larry. First on the 26th of January, where we, we, I made some forecasts about some uh, events coming up, you know, astro events and the markets. And then later we'll be talking about my uh, appearance for on the 5th when we talked about the Super Bowl. So on the uh, 26th, I, to I showed you we had some interesting things coming up. Uh, now, one of the first things we're going to talk about is the what's called the U.S. natal chart. We take a snapshot of the planets when something began or was born. And on the 4th of July, 1776, the good old USA was formed. And so we use the planets then and look at the planets now and compare and see if we have an alignment. So uh, on the night of the 26th, we had Jupiter 120 degrees to the planet, to the U.S. Uranus, where Uranus was. On July the 4th, 1776. So we'll be looking for your U.S. financials, such as stocks, T-bonds, and U.S. dollar. The night of the 28th, we had a full moon in Leo. And we round up the usual suspects for all your, all the full moons and new moons. So that's your financials, grains, precious metal, corn, and especially corn, gold, and OJ, because it's in Leo. And then also the night of the 28th, we had Mercury perihelion. Was well, perihelion? The planets go around the sun in elliptical fashion, not in a circle. And so there's a point at which they get to the closest point. That's perihelion. The opposite is aphelion. That's from the Greek, by the way. Helios is Greek for sun. So there we go. So Mercury, uh, Mercury has to do with the grains. And anything to do with the sun is your gold and o corn, also corn, gold, and OJ. So also on the night of the 28th, we had another point from the U.S. chart. Again, that's your U.S. financial, U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And then the night of the 29th, that was the weekend, uh, and uh, Mercury turned retrograde in the sign of Aquarius. And that, so Mercury is corn, soybeans, wheat. And then because it was an Aquarius, but we're looking at copper. Keep that in mind for later because, as you know, all the, you might know that all the plants are not all the planets, but many of the planets are lined up in the sign of Aquarius. So here's our first one. There's the uh, Mercury turning retrograde there for copper. Copper pulled down at a retest of its low from two days before over the weekend of the 29th on the opening of February 1. And that was one day early for a nice low there. And then the copper ran pretty nicely. As of last night, we were trading around 377. And back on the low there, we were near 350. That's 27 cents in copper. I think that works out to somewhere in the neighborhood of six to seven thousand dollars, if I'm not mistaken. It's uh, every uh, penny is two, worth 250 dollars. Here's the corn rallying up into our two mercury points there. And oh, we had that way. We had the uh, yeah, wait, corn is uh, no. We had the full moon and the mercury perihelion for the corn. And those, the market was just kind of going sideways there. It popped up. So I was going to call that a miss. Well, I probably should have just taken a pass on that with the sideways action. Then it did pop up into our Mercury retrograde point, And that was a little bit of a short-term top there. Here's the goal. That was kind of going down into our uh, uh, moon and our Mercury perihelion. And that was a little one to two day uh, low there. Uh, you could have made a little bit of money. And OJ, I'm going to call those two points. I um, uh, miss the red arrows or misses. And then here's your beans. Had three points for the beans if I can get my computer to move. And there we go. We made, pulled down into the moon and Mercury perihelion and then popped up into Mercury retrograde. So you had uh, two nice windows for to make some money. Here's the S&P. Made a nice top there on the uh, 26th, 27th window and had a big down. And uh, Uranus has to, uh, this is to the U.S. Uranus. And Uranus has to do with technology. And that's, those, go look, you'll see the technology stocks 
had a big whack there, and they led the way down. And then we, uh, then we kind of whips on back and forth, ended up kind of in the middle of this range here. And so we had three points there. Uh, the yellow bars, I'd take a pass. Didn't like, uh, you know, I want to see a strong trend into our window, and it was just whipsawing kind of back and forth. But however, a day later, though, now we're on the lows. I like that. So we're, we'd be looking to do something there on the next morning's opening on February 1, and that was a nice low there. You could buy against the low there, and then you had the big rally. All right, here's your bonds. Bonds did nicely. You rallied into their first point there on the night of the 26th. And that was a day ahead of the high, and then the next, and then we skip a day to the night of the 28th, opening the 29th, and that was just past the the high there, so those worked out well. Here's wheat. There's your Mercury perihelion and Moon, uh, making lows there on the uh, night of the 28th, and we popped up for Mercury retrograde to make a high. Uh, here's your dollar making a low there on the U.S. Uh, natal point there, the night of the 26th. And then we just kind of whips on back and forth. It wasn't real clear what was going on, so I would give those the yellow bar treatment, you know. And I thought I'd try out a foreign currency. that They often like the moon. And there we go. There's the night of the 28th, open the 29th. You're near the lows there on the Canadian dollar. All right, so if you add up the green arrows and red arrows, I had 17 winners, four misses out of 21. That's 80.95%. When I was last, when I was on on the 26th. I showed this chart. We were about right there. Let's see. There's, you can look here at the top. There's the 26th. I, we were about here, and you see my blue line there. This is my Bradley inspired model, but not Bradley's model. And I'm going to tell you how I, I don't like, to, don't want to use the word fix, but let's say I made some major advancements so the Bradley type concept would work much, much better. So if I, I, Bradley concept is you assign numerical values to the, every, all the planetary events, and then if you have a series of numbers, you can plot them on a graph. That's Bradley's the thing. So if you did that uh, based on astrological, astrological rules, and they don't always work as written in the book, uh, the mother chart that led to creating this, oh, we got a commercial, right? Yeah, we're going to take a break, Norm. We'll be right back after we pay a few words with Norm Winsky, Astro Trance. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006 and like many of you, was drawn in by as well as whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on growth. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of tfnn.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. 
Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida. You want to continue, Norm? Yes, what do sir, you have for us in the future? I'm sorry? What do you have for us in the future? Okay. Anyway, I was telling how I create this chart, so I, you know, get the uh, sign the numerical values to the different planetary events for every day, and then I do like an individual daily chart, and then I summarize those all on the one chart, and using uh, your basic uh, traditional astrological rules, we we'll plot those lines, and then we have the when we put summarize them on a chart like this, then you get what I call the mother chart. Then I do variations on that chart, as you probably know. Anybody who studied Bradley has a tendency to, for inversions, the dreaded word inversion. And probably, I would say that 80% of last year, everything was upside down. So good is, you know, so called bad is good, good is bad, and so forth. The market goes up on negative aspects. We're seeing that right now. We're on our highs, and we were looking at major aspects like Saturn, 90 to Uranus, that kind of thing, you know. So. I kind of saw that coming, and what 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 uh, Bradley didn't take any of that into account. He didn't talk about inversions at all. But what I noticed over the many years is when did the uh, this mark uh, when did the planetary energy tend to flip, tend to invert? And I noticed two big categories of planetary events, so-called station points. That's when planets stop to turn retrograde or direct, and also when planets hit zero. Latitude. Now, the original mother chart for this, I think, was down, down, down at a 45-degree angle. I then flipped it, and when it was up, up, up at a 45-degree angle, and then I do what I call the, if you turn your head, it's a good exercise, polarity-adjusted planetary index, and that's what this is. So I want to go to draw this line. I flip the points at these key planetary points. So, for example, there's Uranus turning direct, and that's a, pl a planetary polarity point where the polarity of the energy can invert. So the market, this line's going up, up, up. I then flip the line down, and then we overlay, obviously later we overlay the black bars on top to see how it worked out, and that's what the market did. It's topped there and went down. Then we went to the next point. Venus was zero latitude. I'm looking for the line, of, uh, the things that flipped to the upside, and when we made a bottom there, and then we went out. Then we got to Mercury zero latitude, and then we were looking for it to flip again back the other way, and that's what happened. So we had the blue line going down. And we were I was on your show here on the 26th, right about there, and looking for the mark of the top out, and it did the next day, and then we had a sharp down into the close. And then here's Mercury retrograde over the 29th weekend, and we reversed on February 1 and started going up again. So there you go. So that's that's how I do this. I think the chart was pretty good, you know. All right. Any questions or comments on that? Larry? That's kind of a long-term uh, <laughs> point of frustration for anybody trying to work with the Bradley model, right? Well, could you talk to us a little bit about this tight formation that everybody's been talking about where we have these oh, yeah, seven we're gonna get to that. We're going to get to that. Okay. All right. So okay. I was on your show on the 5th, and I said that the January barometer, in other words, how January goes, is a good, uh, often a good forecasting model for the year, and it also tends to forecast the Super Bowl, which is also can be used as a forecasting model for the year. And I showed you how this this January was rather similar to the uh, 2020 January, and I showed these the blue bars were for 2021 and the green bars for 2020, 
And, you know, the Super Bowl last year, uh, the uh, the NFC team, that's the bullish conference, uh, uh, was dominating the game until the last six minutes. And then AFC Kansas City Chiefs came back from the dead and scored three touchdowns in the last six minutes to win. And you see we had the big down there. That would favor the AFC team. I thought we would repeat, uh, but we did not repeat. Uh, and so the uh, uh, Chiefs stayed dead all the way to the end of the game. And it was just too much Brady power, I guess, whatever. And so uh, what was interesting is they all the scoring stopped in the middle of the third quarter. And I'm going to combine now the January Brown with a Super Bowl indicator to make a forecast that, uh, you know, this would indicate a sharp down in the fourth quarter. I'm going to say that the Super Bowl is going to mod- mod- uh, moderate that a bit. And maybe we'll just have a moderate down in the fourth quarter. But they're both. We, there was no scoring in the fourth quarter, so that, that's a uh, you know with the uh, Tampa Bay as the NFC. Okay, now here's what you want, to, Larry. Here's the chart for today. Here's the new moon. It will be occurring at 2:07 p.m. As you see here, you got all these things all lined up. All but one of them are in the sign of Aquarius, and we got the new moon there in Aquarius. And the market the most associated with that, in my opinion, is copper. And we'll be looking at copper again because of that. And, of course, the stock market because it's a new moon. And I, I went and looked back, went, took a look at uh, back in 87 there, you know, Sunday the 24th, the Mayans forecast, the Mayan harmonic convergence. You can look that up on Wikipedia or whatever. And they said that was the end, 400 years before, said that was the end of a major era on their calendar because their calendar was based on the planets. And if you go look at the stock market there, we made a top. That was a Sunday with one of the planets were the Titus, and the new, and the moon was lined up with the planets of Titus. And the next day, Monday the 25th, was the high of the year. And now it took, uh, you know, the famous crash of 87, that sort of e- 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 o- 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 evolved uh, over about a six-week period. So it wasn't instant. There was about a 10% correction off that top. Then it came back, I think, about six, halfway to 618 back uh, over the next couple of weeks, several weeks. And then we, and then the big top was, you know, in terms of price action, was early October when it went off the cliff near the, I think, near the lunar eclipse there, you know. And then, then we had the big crash, you know. So anyway, I'm not saying we're going to have a crash, by the way. I'm just saying you, you might want to pay attention because these things, this kind of stuff doesn't occur very often. You got uh, there's Saturn, there's Jupiter, there's Venus, there's Mercury. That's the Sun, that's the Moon, all lined up together. There's Pluto there in the narrow arc. That's in Capricorn. All those wavy lines are Aquarius. So there we go. Does that answer uh, that, that yes, question? Yes, it does. There? Yes, it does. Thank you very much because we've right, heard a lot of people go. talk about it. We just want to get your your uh, skinny on it. What what was uh, happening? I agree with you, Larry. It could be a big deal. There you go. Or it could be you know, nothing. <laughs> or yeah. Or we, you know, it might be a sneaky thing where it doesn't look like much when you're on top of it, and then mm-hmm. a, a few weeks or a few months from now, you look back and go, "Wow, that's where this all started." You know, there you go. Right. Here's uh, the, the, Oh, go ahead. Continue, again? please. Keep. Now, I'm sorry. Here's keep, the copper keep, chart. Look at what it's done over the past two weeks. Uh, it's been a huge move here in copper, from about the 350 area. All the way up to 377. By the way, 377, as you know, Larry, is a Fibonacci number. So it's sure dancing is, around yes. that 377 level there. And it's like a magnet here with all these planets in Aquarius. Look at this thing. Once it turned, boom, like a magnet, you know. And there you go. And <laughs> this thing, copper, is a non-ferrous metal. That means it's not a magnet. don't work on copper, I don't think. All right? So there you go. Kind of a funny thing. All right. That's the way my brain, is, twisted brain works. All right, there we go, and now we're going to look at what's coming up. With the, tonight, uh, oh, last night we had Saturn uh, line up with the U.S. market, uh, U.S. Mercury, so we'll be looking for a change, possible change trend. Stock steep on the U.S. dollar, and then this afternoon we got the new moon in Aquarius. You got your financials, grains, precious metals, and copper, and then we have uh, is that commercial coming. Yes, sir. We've got to pay a few bills. Stay with us, Norm. Right. We want to yes, let how the folks can reach you if you're going to be in business this week. Absolutely. You got it, brother. We'll be right back with Norm Lansky, folks. The
The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once-in-a-generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar, silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're chatting with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida. Norm, why don't you tell the folks how they could reach you? All right, it's going to take 30 seconds to wrap up what I was doing. So we're looking at these different astro points coming up here. we got a cluster for the U.S. over the next one to two trading days. You know, Monday is a holiday. So that'll be mostly over the weekend. And now uh, I'll tell the folks how they can get a hold of Norm. Here we go. I'm in sunny Naples, Florida. There's my phone, 239-594-3939. There's my email, in with at embark with a Q in the middle, mail.com. And there's my Skype, N-W-I-N-S-K-I underscore one. So looking forward to helping some of your folks. I have some free classes. Teach them how to day trade if they have a futures account. And I got the swing trading where I teach them advanced Fibonacci. Again, all reduced into a short amount of time. So you don't have to wrestle with again for five to ten years. <laughs> I can get it down to 15 minutes, you know. And so looking forward to helping some of the folks there, Larry. Hey, everybody okay, have Norm. A, a great weekend. All right. And we'll have you on again soon, my friend. Norm Winsky of Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida. Folks, make sure you do something for your neighbors because, by golly, a lot of them are really hurting. 
So uh, some of them don't even have food. And so that's uh, the way our economy is here in the Pueblo of Tucson, Arizona. And I'm sure you've got situations where you live, too. So try to give a little bit back, folks, because uh, we really need to get this thing back to some semblance of normal normalcy if we possibly can. So that's what we're looking at today. Anyway, we're going to see more volatility. Make sure you're using stops on all your positions because if you don't, you're telling Mother Market that uh, – I don't know where it's going to go, and then you're in big trouble because she will give you a lesson that you will not forget. That I can assure you. So those are just a few of the things you want to keep in mind when you're trading. It's not about how much you make. It's how much you don't lose, and that's the key. We'll see you all on the flip side tomorrow, folks. And uh, if you do have questions, call into TFNN, 877-927-6648. 